Hey everybody, Claire here, and I am with the amazing Whitney Adams. Hello. She is one of my best girlfriends and an amazing sommelier slash wine expert, and you can check out all of her awesomeness on WhitneyA.com slash YouTube backslash WhitneyA. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all. That's me. And that's the end of our video, so that's all we want to say. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's great Hi. to see all of you guys. <laughs> but yeah, today we're doing the Champagne Tower, which just sounds epic and super fancy, mm -hmm. but... Is it? to be. Okay. Yeah. That's cool to know. Because it's essentially just a tower of glasses that you pour booze onto. So, <laughs> <laughs> how bad can that be, Exactly. Right? That's not a bad situation <laughs> whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So, Whitney's going to show us how to build it, and then we can actually talk about, like, sort of champagne tower theory. Yeah, and the reason the coupe is really great for the champagne tower is because it has a wider surface area. Imagine trying to balance all of these glasses if they were little skinny champagne flutes. Oh. So precarious and yeah, we don't need to do that. And these are just prettier anyway. I prefer to drink it my sparkling nicer. wine out of coupes. Well, because you can smell it. Yeah. yeah, get a good whiff. It's so true. So you want a good solid base. And so the key here is that it doesn't really matter what each layer is, mm -hmm. just that each layer is even. Is the same height. Okay. Right. So, and this is kind of like the circular formation. Yeah, you can do it in a square as well. Um, if you do a square, then um, you can start with any number, um, you know, three by three, four by four, whatever it is, and then the layer above it is just going to be one number down. Yeah. So three, two, one. Um, but I love the circle. I think it's really elegant and pretty. Yeah, I like that look too. And then, so this is the odd man out. This is, has a weird height. So this one's going on top because nothing else has to balance on it. Right. Beautiful. Well, so this looks really nice as is, mm -hmm. but we do, it's, it's right now just, it's a glass tower. It's not a champagne tower. So enter. So, enter champagne. champagne. Or in this time, it's kava. Right. Because, like, gimmicks are not meant for, like, fancy champagne. I feel like. Yeah. You, I mean, unless you're, like, a royal and it's your wedding. Totally. Perhaps. And then you just are going crazy. But kava is champagne method, but it's coming from Spain. Different grape varieties, but same method of production as champagne. Woo. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. Um, yeah, just as bubbly as champagne, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> should we both do it? I think we should. Time? Why not? This is a pretty boss moment. Let's go for it. Okay, ready? ready? Yeah. And the fountain begins. It begins. Woo! That is so pretty. It's real classy. And look, it's like it works. It actually. It's like a science fair project. I do have to say, when I've done this before, sometimes you do need to go back in and supplement the bottom because some of the some of the glasses might not be as full as the other ones. Yeah, or it just might want to pour in a different direction. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna. Yeah. Help. So you kind of go down here, cheat a little. Who cares? I'm gonna help some of these guys out. Yeah. All right. Job well done. Should we, should we high five on that one? Yeah. Very happy with that. All okay. right. Well, I think. I think we owe I think it's time to drink. Oh, hold on a sec. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. I'm just going to wear it. This is what's happening to me today. Okay, cheers. Oh, <laughs> should we even dare? I okay. know. It's like precarious. It tastes better from a fountain. It does. <laughs> I Yes. <laughs> it does. It's way better. It's been proven. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. It really is. This was so fun. I, this was, can we do this every time we drink anything? It's the only way to drink <laughs> champagne ever. Red wine, white wine, rosé. <laughs> yeah, wine fountains. That would be a very, for everyone. it would be a large glass of red <laughs> yeah, wine. That's very true. Like a red wine fountain. That is very true. Good God. Well, this was so much fun. So it sounds like the lesson from here mm -hmm. is when you open your bottle of champagne, you twist the bottle yes. and hold the top, mm -hmm. not the other way around. You have a little bit more control that way. Yeah, so lesson one. Um, but lesson two is you just want to make sure that you have even levels for each one yeah. so that nothing is topply. This is not supposed to mimic Jenga. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. We want sturdy, sturdy levels. Yeah. Solid as a rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was so much fun. I think this is the perfect centerpiece for like a New Year's Eve celebration. Yeah. It's just screams fun. Well, cheers. Cheers. It's so fun always having you come around. Oh, my pleasure. All right, well, make sure to check her out, WhitneyA.com, YouTube backslash WhitneyA. Yeah. Lots of fun stuff, not just wine. My favorite one that you do is drunk relationship advice. It's my favorite too. She, she takes shots of wine. <laughs> oh my God, it was great. I, the last one was just, I was peeing my pants laughing. Okay, so great, funny. thank you. Mm. Mm. Cheers, bye. bye. We're just gonna keep doing this. Yeah.